my brother being arrested again. You know, just gotta find out what's going on. Anyway, so to keep it moving, I gotta focus on other things. You know what it is. Sometimes people call you and you really don't want to pick up. We call this the art of curbing. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So what I mean by curbing is basically ignoring, you know. Um, sometimes we do it because we have to. Sometimes we do it unfairly, you know. But um, that's what I mean by the art of curbing. And I guess this is my philosophy on curbing. People will curb you for different reasons. All I ever wanted was to love peace from me. Keep it quiet, keep it down, cause you're stressing me. You think I'm spending every night up in some other sheets, but every other night I'm caught up grinding hard up in these streets, trying to set my name. Sometimes people curb you just because, you know, they may be annoyed by you, realistically, you know? Could have been something you did, something you said. Let me take this hood off and stop being so dramatic. You might think I'm going out there to do a robbery or something. Oh, and sometimes people, you know, curb you and ignore you because, you know, they owe you money. I mean, we all know that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So my thing is like, you know, don't be surprised if, if, if somebody, you know, owes you money and they're not picking up their phone. You know what happened then? No, you owe me money. You better have my money, or I'm coming to see you. You know what time it is. Just playing, just playing, just playing. I'll take you to court. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling myself Mel Boogie with the hoodie. Yeah? Then again, maybe not, <laughs> you know. Other reasons people curb is because, you know what? You just, you don't see eye to eye anymore. You know, interests, you know, go, you know, different ways, you may drift apart. Sometimes you're hanging out with different crowds and you're just into different things, you know. One person might start going to school, another person might start hanging out with a negative crowd, you know. Your, your interests and principles change, so that way, you know, you you friends with each other, you don't want to offend the person, you know, but you kind of politely curb them and find reasons not to be involved or to see them or speak to them. I hope that made some kind of sense. Did that make sense to you? Anyway. Oh! And then there is my favorite reason, my number one favorite reason why people curve you. Are you ready? Listen real closely. Listen real, real close. Because they can't use you anymore. Honestly, in that situation, if folks is using you and they can't use you no more, they wasn't worth being around anyway. So if you're curving me because you can't use me, or well, I don't serve any purpose for you, then thank you. I appreciate that. And since the day after Valentine's Day, I also have to mention that sometimes people get curved because they're hiding stuff. So for all the side women and the side men or the side chicks, you know, sometimes you get curved because, you know, they got to be with the main person and they can't really be with you. It's tough. I know. I get Let me actually get into the art of curbing before I end this video. It has to be done tastefully and respectfully to avoid collateral damage and also legal fees. That is a must. I'm not about to give you my details and strategies on how to curb a person. You know, you know what to do. You know what you be doing. And besides, if I do give away the tips and tricks and secrets of curbing, you're going to know what I do. I mean, I look at it this way. I don't want to curb people. I don't want to be curbed, but it happens. This is just more about the philosophy on the art of curbing and, you know, the things that people do. I'll tell you that you personally shouldn't um, curb a person if they're always looking out for you and trying to hold you down and there for you and supportive to you as a friend. But unfortunately, folks do that too, you know, because sometimes. 
people go through things and maybe they don't feel comfortable sharing it with folks and folks get curved and that's another reason people curve folks is because sometimes they just want to be alone you know they want to be isolated you know in their space and, and, and I respect also sometimes a person is really not curbing you sometimes they're really just busy and they have things to do so you don't know no difference between when somebody is actually busy and when somebody's actually curbing you, when they're just literally straight up ignoring you, ah, I ain't trying to mess with you, <laughs> you know? You can tell when somebody's pretty much ignoring you, you know, unanswered phone calls for years on end, or, you know, you're coming by, or people are always busy, and, 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 and they are making excuses, you know, that just don't seem valid, or, you know, the dog is six, you know, or you got a hundred aunts that done died off, and, you're always with the girlfriend or, you know, uh, you're always working late, you know, no days off ever, you know, or you can't make a day off. You know, like I said, you can tell when somebody is pretty much curving you if you pay attention, especially if the relationship changed. The thing is to know who to curve and who not to curb, really. In reference for myself, I say you curve those folks who are always trying to use you. Who are trying to mistreat you who don't respect your space your time you know just you know your whole your whole being of who you are if you can't respect my time my personal space and my ability to just you know move back and forth and do things then maybe i might have to curb you and and the same with me if i can't respect your space and your time or whatever then maybe you might have to curb me there's nothing wrong with that you know but just don't do it, you know, just because, because you were an emotional state or you felt something and you didn't talk, you know, folks could talk, you know. Also, I say much respect to those people that are curb you and be honest about why they're curbing you. I appreciate that. You know, if you can be honest with me about why you don't speak to me for whatever reason and we don't see eye to eye getting along, I respect your honesty because it saves me a lot of time and energy. In any event, communication is key. If you constantly feel like you're in a situation where you have to keep curbing a person, then that's something you might need to address. If you curb a friend or family member because of a minor temporary disagreement, that's fine. But to keep doing it and keep having to go there, then you need to question that friendship. In this case, it might be time to sever ties. And there's nothing wrong with that if folks are honest about you know where you stand and what's going on and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's perfectly okay to have to distance yourself from somebody for various reasons. But anyway, hopefully that made sense. Now I gotta go out there into that world. I gotta pay some bills. I gotta just do some things, experience more life, and then get ready to go to work tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing, I forgot. Don't be afraid to leave comments, you know, down below, you know, Email me, curry a pigeon, smoke signal. You know, on your thoughts about the art of curbing or ignoring people, what do you feel about that situation? Do you like being ignored? Do you ignore people for various reasons? Do you find yourself in situations where, you know, is a communication breakdown? How, how do you feel about the art of curbing or, you know, ignoring folks? You know, I, I would like to know, you know, just, you know, say anything that you like. Try to keep it classy. You know, no vulgar language. I would appreciate that. But still, be honest. Talk to you.